Now, I'd like to introduce you to our next writer, Louise Crosley. Fiction and corporate writer, Louise Crosley is no garden variety, variety language and literature, literature teacher and writer. By day, she follows discipline study designs when writing curriculum, and by night, she follows her healthy imagination. Author of five books, including award-winning Ella's Handbag, numer numerous courses, including a pronunciation program and a research report, she discovered that the two disciplines complement each other. Today, she'll talk about how corporate principles can strengthen creative writing. Thank you so much, Noel. Um, so, yeah, that is exactly what I am talking about. Let me just get my, um, my PowerPoint up. Okay, here we are. I'll just make it. Here we go. Okay, so fairyland and formal writing, a close-knit family. So I'm going to talk to you about how you can use corporate writing skills um, for your creative writing planning, um, building your writer identity. Um, so with the planning, you, uh, the syllabus, um, uh, syllabus for planning works really, really well for me. Um, using vision, mission statements and values to build a um, writer identity. Statement of preparedness for knowing your audience and entry and exit points. And the mapping to um, audience, genre and author style and to bring it all together. Well, so you're just going to bin it. Pardon? Okay, so um, the syllabus. Uh, when you are um, planning uh, for any project, really, it is important to plan well and plan broadly. So, um, you know, a, a course syllabus, for those that don't know, is basically the overview of everything that you need to know before you begin to write. And I think for creative writing, the same thing is necessary. Um, you know, what is your author intention? What's the objective? Knowing what you want to do with your writing before you start is a very good place to start. Is there an audience for your work? Um, really important. You don't want to spend um, a year or two writing a novel and then finding that um, it is not, you know, there's not a market for it. Um, what gap are you filling? What is your point of difference? Can you concisely explain your work? The elevator speech is really important for you. Not only the synopsis, but, you know, uh, a good blurb could, um, you know, could, is likely to sell or not sell your book. And what word count are you aiming for? Does this align with your genre? So all of these things are basically um, uh, very necessary in order to know whether you're, um, you know, you have a market out there and if it is um, really clear in your own head what you plan to do. Um, vision, mission statement and values are really important, I feel, to build your author yeah. identity. With my um, book, Lollipop Whistles Woes, which was um, endorsed by School Crossings Victoria, um, uh, it, and it was part of a School Crossing initiative, um, my vision for that book was to ensure children ages five to eight can cross the road safely. My mission statement, safety is so much fun with characters so memorable that at the right time, Whistle and Hamish came, come to mind and the values empowering children, authentic content and spreading happiness. Now, this is not um, only uh, useful for children's books. I'm sure you can see how, you know, uh, having these things for any book that you are putting together definitely gives you um, not only a clear focus, but a clearer idea of who you are as a as an author and um, keeping that um, you know that identity authentic. Um, 
a statement of preparedness. So just basically quizzing yourself on your audience is really, really important. And I'm a big believer in mnemonic um, teaching. So um, I have put together a very quick um, Kahoot quiz, just so you can remember to quiz yourself on your audience. So here we go. You can have a go if you like to try to, to answer these um, questions about, about five to eight-year-olds. Okay, so know your, or know your audience and genre. So question one. Okay, which literary technique is too difficult for my audience, for my five to eight year old audience? I and E. True or false? My audience requires short, sharp content. True. And the last one. A picture book should be no longer than 32 pages. True or false? True again. So that gives you a little um, snapshot of um, how you can um, get to know your audience and, um, so, uh, and get to know your audience and know what you are writing for. So a, a, a better focus. All right, exit and entry and exit points. Really, really important one, I think. And it is, it is um, as, as this um, whole um, presentation is built around um, uh, curriculum writing, but I think it is invaluable to know where your audience is starting from and where you want to take them. Um, not doing this um, will either lose or bore your your um, your audience, because if you are you know talking above their ability, then you know you, they're not going to know what you're talking about. But if you talk below them, they will feel that you're being condescending. So really, really, really important. Um, you know, I know that in in the same um, in relation to the same. Um, the same book, I know that at entry, my five to eight year olds already know that it is dangerous to cross the road so they can work out why Whistle is looking sad there. Um, at exit, I want them to learn the school crossing um, Vic rules to cross the road and to feel proud about crossing the road correctly. So that's where I want to take them to. So knowing these things, um, a really, really good way to um, make sure that you are, you know, you are, you know, you are where your audience are, and you know what you want want to do with your book. Um, and finally, um, the mapping. The mapping is almost like a summary or a linking to get everything together, and also to just make sure that your identity, you're being true to your author identity. So again, with Lollipop Whistles Woes, my audience and genre, mood can be set by appealing to the audience, sense of being good boys and girls. I know that five and eight year olds really, really, um, uh, you know, they, they um, relate really well to that. And it relates to my author identity of being flowery and theme message driven. Um, they are engaged by personification, so making the whistle uh, talk was, uh, is something that would appeal to them and I'm partial to an outside of the square perspective. Sentence must be direct and short, so, you know, as a language and literature teacher, um, you know, I, I make sure that I manipulate that as necessary and images should tell some of the story. So I'm drawn to bohemian and retro illustration. So I make sure that threads through my, my stories. So that is it for me. I am hoping um, that that has helped you to plan um, for your next big, um, big work and also um, to strengthen your author identity.